Good morning. Good morning. Mackenzie Numaga. Bonjour. <clears throat> I'm going to make a very conscien conscious conscience. <laughs> <clears throat> conscious effort not to say you know <laughs> in this video you can tell that I don't interact with verbally interact with adults often uh, because <laughs> of my bad habits of when I speak. <clears throat> so I'd like to read in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 6. That's Proverbs chapter 14 6. The whole chapter is a good chapter. Proverbs is actually one of my favorite books. Um, it says here, a scorner seeketh wisdom and find it findeth it not but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth um i've spoken so much truth on my channel so to those of you who have eyes to see it's obvious who i serve you know, I've had, <clears throat> you know, a couple of people come on to my channel and, you know, point out, you cannot serve two masters. And I understand that completely. The master of this world is, is the father of lies. I don't lie on my channel. Um, it doesn't matter if I show interest in gardening or I had mentioned that it's interesting that the um, cathedrals, <clears throat> you know, the their, their story, their lies behind it um, on how long it took them to build it etc. Um, just because I mention something that, <clears throat> you know, I'm pointing out that history, his story is a lie. Everything is a lie. Absolutely everything. You know, he's the father of lies and there's no truth in him. And those who are children of you know, uh, the Antichrist spirit. Uh, they do the will of their father. They're liars. Okay. And I understand that it's spiritual. I understand they're being led to do it. I understand, you know, forgive them for they know not what they do. I really don't think that most people who, um, follow lies know that they're following lies because they're under a strong delusion if they were aware of doing it you wouldn't call it a delusion okay so my heart goes out to others who are completely in the dark who they have no idea what they're doing they have no idea they're on that wide path to destruction. Not a clue. And, and so I come on to YouTube and I share my testimony and sometimes I talk about different things. And just because I talk about different things doesn't mean I'm serving the world. Doesn't mean I'm worldly. Doesn't mean I'm you know, uh, straying from that narrow gate, okay? <clears throat> um, the Lord is with me. I have his Holy Spirit. There's no question, none. He has given me his Holy Spirit and given me eyes to see. 
and given me a heart of understanding. He's given me, I have Christ's heart, okay? And, and so when someone asked me, do I know anyone who, have I met anyone who has this Holy Spirit? And my answer to that, it, you know, some questions are a little harder than others because I'm very cautious and careful about what I say because that's part of my testimony. So I said, I don't know anyone who has his Holy Spirit because I'm not going to say that I know someone who has his Holy Spirit because I don't know the hearts of men. I'm not going to claim to know that I know the hearts of men. Only the Lord knows other people's hearts. And the Antichrist spirit comes as an angel of light, okay, and can perform miracles, supernatural things, and twist the truth. Now, again, it's like, I would rather say, I don't know, and, you know, leave it to the Lord, because that's the wisest thing to do. The only thing I know is I'm working out my own salvation every single day. Am I saying that I'm already there? No, I'm still here. Okay, I don't, I don't say that I'm already in the know and, you know, I don't need to learn anymore. That would be a foolish thing to say as well that, oh, I know the answer, I know, I know. No, I don't do that. I leave the door open for when the Lord's knocking and he gives me his daily bread of understanding, knowledge, and truth. Again, if someone can't see that I'm speaking truth on my channel, then that's not on me. I'm just sharing my testimony. Never claimed to be a teacher. Never said follow me or like my videos. Never said anything like that. And in fact, I tell people, listen to no man. Do not allow any man in the flesh to influence you because you will be led astray. In my testimony, the beginning of my testimony, that's what happened to me. I was led astray for such a short period, but the Lord allowed that to happen to show me how easy it is to step off of that narrow path. So, Proverbs talks about a lot about wisdom and how it's best to keep your mouth shut, basically, that only fools um, speak loosely. And I notice a lot of people say a lot of random stuff that I know they probably don't think about later and probably don't remember even typing it or saying it. So that's very telling that when you're walking with the Lord, you are very, um, what you say and do, you know there is great importance to it. So you're very careful about the words you use. And again, um, I don't think it's wise to critique someone else's walk or testimony. So I just wanted to plant that seed that be very careful that you're not going around. I love the, there's some um, analogy and you know how 
if someone's literally taking their hand and pointing their finger at someone and you look down and you see three fingers pointing back at you I like that um, example that I don't go around pointing my finger <clears throat> okay because I look down and I have three fingers pointing back at me okay and I know that I would always want someone to have patience for me always and understanding and mercy and that's what the Lord has asked you to do in his commandments one put him first which he is first in my life truth is first in my life and two love your neighbor as you love yourself okay I don't want somebody coming along and picking apart what I say and what I do and so I won't do that to other people I would love for someone to have the same understanding for me as I have for them that none of us are perfect and that I'm going to make mistakes but the Lord knows my heart and knows that I'm continuing to seek him to seek truth only and to walk in truth only again I hope I plant a good seed that if you haven't repented changed your mind about you know pointing fingers at people or um, you're thinking you're doing them a favor by I don't know making assumptions and then going off um, you're only hurting yourself you're really only hurting yourself and harming yourself because that is your testimony so I would think about your actions and question is it what Christ would do or have understanding and mercy and pray for others long-suffering when it says that the Lord is long-suffering is the Lord knows that he cannot force people to follow him he cannot force people to see the truth okay and long suffering means when you're when you're watching someone when you're watching someone murder themselves and and you're right there for them you're right there with a hand to reach out to help them but they don't want your help they they think they don't need your help and I'm not saying that that gives people authority to go around slapping words at people thinking you're helping them okay the only one that can open other people's eyes is Christ the only one who can soften their heart is Christ okay and it's up to each individual person to go to Christ it has nothing to do with you or me okay you work out your own salvation by building your own relationship with the Lord and our testimony is a not a testimony of going around attacking people our testimony is we are a witness to what's happening you know the manifestation we see the spiritual warfare manifesting where just watching people say insane things and doing things and we're watching 
them being devoured by the Antichrist spirit, it's probably one of the hardest things I've had to do is witness people murdering themselves and, and knowing the truth about this. It's one of the hardest things. So again, be careful with your words and pointing your finger because there are three fingers pointing back at you. I love you and God bless.